Hey guys, Mike, Iron Trap Garage, and we are back working on my 34 Cabriolet. So in the last video, we got the wheel well and the quarter panel, the front quarter panel patch done. And there's a few more things we need to wrap up on this side, uh, besides the door, and all the major metal repair is done. So originally this car was channeled. Uh, it had these massive uh, brackets that bolted to the side of the uh, frame. And we used a different set of B pillars to kind of patch everything in to return it to stock. Well, I need to make a brace that connects to the top of the floor and kind of braces the B pillar, pillar better. And we need to put this piece of tin back on. So we saved this from the, the B pillar that we used to patch in, which is nice because we didn't have to make it. Um, so I got a few things I need to finish up before we can put this on. This is like the last final piece on the top. And then after this, if we can get this done in this video, we're going to move to the other side and start on the firewall repair. So let's get started.
guy, Matt here, and uh, Mike was able to uh, yesterday get that piece made on the inside here. He's got the foot made on this side. Uh, originally it was like a, like a cast or forged piece. He made uh, a piece in there that looks good and, and is strong. Uh, we're gonna do the other side when the time comes. Uh, but right now we're trying to tackle this side before we spin the table around. Um, so Mike took uh, a piece of an old B pillar that we had and uh, he's cut that out and got it all fit in. And you can start to see how out of shape this quarter is. So right here, he has a clamp down to where the rocker area is all together and it's where it's supposed to be. But up in here, the shape is not right of this panel. So I'm gonna be welding this in. This is gonna be a fight because it's torn and, and out of shape and just not happy in here. So um, I'm gonna weld this all shut and then I'm gonna, as I go, I'm gonna have to tack it and start pulling the shape back into this, this area here where it's sucked in. Um, both for me welding, but also from this area just being cut out and damaged all these years, it's just kind of bent in. So uh, that's what I'm gonna work on, try and get this all buttoned up, and at least we'll have the driver's side pretty close to looking good other than this door. Ignore that.
All right, so the next day Matt got this little patch welded in and it finally looks semi-decent on this side. The door still needs some work, but the doors on this car are probably the worst out of everything. They need a lot of work. The inside of this one's cut out, like the bottom six inches. So I gotta see if I can get replacement panels for both sides. Uh, the, the skin on this one's not too bad. It needs some work. Uh, the door on the driver's side is very bad. So for the most part, this side of the car is done. Um, there's a, our little ax wound here on the side that needs to be fixed, but that's for later date when we can roll the car outside because there's, uh, there's a lot of Bondo over here that needs to be cleaned out. So passenger side's done. It's time to move to the driver's side. Um, we got to do the firewall. I have a, a replacement firewall to put in as well. So in the next video, I'll do the firewall. We'll fix the, there's like a shark bite out of the cow side on the driver's side. And then we'll work our way back on that side. And then the last big step that we'll do, uh, Matt will do, I'm not going to do a whole lot on them, but the, the doors need to be fixed. So Matt, that's your uh, task for this, this winter. Yay! So thanks guys for watching. Catch you later.